Hello and welcome. Uh, namaste home. So I'm going to do um, a very gentle grounded version of a sun salutation that I like to do. I tend to do this in my gentler classes and over the winter. In the winter we're more inward looking, we need to stay more grounded, to stay more secure, go within ourselves. In the summer we tend to go more outwards, we look outwards, we have more energy. However, at the moment we have to stay home. We're allowed to go out for our exercise or we can stay home and do our exercise, like yoga. But we can feel quite ungrounded at this time, vulnerable, insecure. So a more grounded version of a sun salutation closer to the earth makes us feel more safe, more secure, more connected, gives us more energy as well. So we start off kneeling down if that's possible. If it's not, um, if you might have problems with your knees or your ankles, tight tendons, it's absolutely fine to start off kneeling up here. Also, if you need some extra padding below your knees, you can put a cushion down or a blanket, just have some um, more layers there to protect your knees. So however you need to start, we kneel either down or up we bring our hands into prayer position and take a breath in and a breath away and then inhale coming up onto our knees stretching upwards as we exhale we bend back carefully squeezing the cheeks of our bottom together helps to support our lower back Inhale again, stretching up as you exhale, bring the hands to the mat in front and bring your forehead down. Your bum might be up in the air a little bit, that's fine. But sitting back as much as you can, take a breath in and a breath away. And then inhale, coming up onto all fours, wrists below your shoulders, knees below your hips. As you exhale, you tuck in your head then tailbone, so you arch your back, tighten your stomach, take a breath in and a breath away, and then inhale, bring the hands as far forwards as you can, curl the toes under, as you exhale, you straighten arms and legs, and come up into downward facing dog, so drawing down the crown of the head between the arms. Now I'm going to go sideways here so you can see me better. What I'm doing with my feet first of all, I bring the feet in just so that I can draw the heels of the feet down as much as possible. Now we coax them down, we never force. We can walk the dog here if we wish. It helps to loosen and to stretch your hamstrings, your Achilles tendons, Achilles heels. But we do it with our breath as we breathe away. And we walk the hands as far forwards as we can. So we're tr creating an unequal triangle, drawing the crown of the head down between the arms. The feet again are at least hip width apart to form a stable triangle with the legs. Drawing the crown here down between the arms, stretching out into the back, into the shoulders. But what is most essential is that we breathe. Breathe in to energise, breathe out to release. Good. So coming back to the mat here. Inhale, bring the knees down. Bring the hands back in below the shoulders. As you exhale, tuck in the head and tailbone. So arch the back, tighten the stomach. Hold here, take a breath in and a breath away and then inhale sitting back as you exhale stretch the arms out forehead down take a breath in and a breath away and then inhale coming up onto your knees stretching up as you exhale bend back carefully Inhale again, stretching up as you exhale, 
hands into prayer position, kneeling up if you need to, kneel down if you can, take a breath in and a breath away. And you can do as many rounds of that as you wish to. Namaste.